goodness me. Now, isn't this something? Right, as it's such a lovely day, I want to show you guys a park close to where I live. It's really big and it's called Patama, Pat, Patama Don. Patama Don Park and it's close to Mahidol University. I think you're going to find this one. The park is located in the Putamaton district of Nakompaton province, just west of Bangkok and spans around 400 hectares or in traditional Thai units 2,500 rai. That's the equivalent of 487 full-size FIFA football pitches. Its construction first began in July 1955 but was temporarily halted due to a lack of funds. However, thanks to a substantial royal patronage, the project was resurrected and the park was inaugurated two years later in 1957. Since its opening, a number of landmarks have been added, including the breathtaking Marble Pali Canon Tripicata with a 9N pagoda in the middle, which we will take a look at later on in the video. It looks as though there aren't any bikes to rent at this park, unfortunately. We are here, according to this map. We are at the principal Buddha statue of the park. But take a look at this Buddha here. It's a pretty, pretty big sized Buddha. The Buddha statue, which lies at the epicenter of the park, stands at 15.8 meters tall and is considered to be the tallest freestanding Buddha statue in the world. The posture we see here of the Buddha sculpture, where the right hand is raised facing outwards, with the other hand beside the body and the left foot trailing, is a posture known as the walking Buddha and symbolizes both grace and internal beauty and depicts Buddha's return to earth after delivering a sermon in heaven. Now I can't tell whether if it's because today it's pretty quiet or whether the park is so big that it just makes it look like there's not many people here. But yeah, it feels like there's hardly anyone around. Now what I think you can do and what I'm planning to do is actually use the car to go and visit all the different locations because the park is so big and they have a dedicated driving path to be able to do this. So let's see if we can. What are these kids doing? Feeding the fish? <laughs> I don't really know if it's a good idea to be feeding wildlife uh, popcorn and kids snacks. My gut feeling says it's not, but maybe it doesn't matter. This park is just so peaceful and tranquil. It's a really nice place to come here in the evening to relax, to meditate, to cleanse your soul and spirit. It looks like the driving paths have been restricted so that people can walk along them. Wow, I don't know how that looks on camera, but right here in person, this is an incredible view. Just off this main path is this area of wilderness. Actually, if you walk in that direction, we were there previously where the Buddha was. So we're going to walk around. Through the trees over there is the reflection of the sun against the lake. I'm going to try and get closer to that. Hopefully the ground isn't damp from yesterday or the day before's rainfall. Uh, I think it might be because I can see just over there by that tree. Patches of puddles over there. Seems as though nobody really comes down here. I think I might have found the best spot to catch sunset from in this park. Oh, look at that. It's like something from a movie. Oh, goodness me. Wow. Now, isn't this something? Carry on exploring, shall we? What a charming park to come and do recreational activities in. The air is fresh, the weather is cool, the sun is setting, golden rays cutting through the trees. I only wish this place was slightly closer to home because it is a 24 minute drive from where I live. It's almost the same distance as me going into central Bangkok. So 24 minutes one way, 24 minutes the other. 
It's a bit of a commute. Ah, there we are. That's it right there. I was wondering when this would appear. That's the pagoda in the park. The name of this is called Temple of Marble Pali Cannon, Tripitaka. Wow, the view must be stunning with the sunset and the pagoda there. There's just so much to see, but without a bike, it's simply impossible to be able to show you around all in one video. It would have to be like a two hour long video, if not longer. Look at this. There's nobody here. I don't even know where I'm supposed to take my shoes off. Oh goodness. Am I supposed to take my shoes off at all or not? What does this say? Maybe not, I don't know. What oh is that King Rama the Nine? I don't know. It looks like him. Is there any English translations? The pictures of Buddha history are above all around. Oh look, you can scan the QR code here. And this takes you to where? Oh. There's all these golden inscriptions in the Thai language on these slabs of marble. There's so many of them. So all these inscriptions are in reference to Buddhist teachings. This entire hall is almost like a Buddhist encyclopedia. Why is this stick hanging from the ceiling? And then we enter the courtyard. And this is the pagoda. Oh, it carries on, look at this. It goes all the way around the entire pagoda. Imagine the effort that went into creating each one of these individual. Is this carved or is this painted? This is carved, yeah. Oh, I don't even know how they've got the lines straight as well. Look how perfectly straight those lines are. Someone must have literally gone with a chisel and carved each and every individual character or letter from the Thai language to write these passages on these slabs of marble. What an incredible feat. I'm going to take my shoes off from here because uh, I don't think you're allowed to have shoes on here. I think I know who this is. I'm 100% sure this is the monk Luang Pusod Kandasaro. I think that's how you pronounce it. The abbot of Wat Paknam Basicheron, the temple that we visited in a previous video, I think one or two weeks ago on the channel. Bangkok's biggest Buddha. Time to pray to him. Goodness, I can't believe the way this sunset is shaping out to be. Look at the pink and red starting to really come out. What a charming and exquisite view. I'm dumbstruck by how pretty this place is. Look, oh, there's a dog there. That's so weird. Oh, hey. It's only me and this dog. Okay, people, I'm going to be ending today's video right here. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video. Many thanks for watching and take care. Bye for now.